Welcome to Ag Yield's National Database. How to enter flowering date, biomass and grain yield crop data. As an example, let's use field notes from a maize experiment performed at Lincoln. On the dashboard, click on Create a new data set. This is an unpublished data set, so the unpublished option is selected. Complete the page with the reference details, add any notes about the data and the experiment. Click on the Create Now button. The system directs you to the data entry mode where it is possible to enter the site and experimental data. So let's start by clicking Add New Site. Complete the page with the site details provided. Enter the site attributes here by selecting the options. Select crop and enter the sowing date. Select the species from the list and type or copy and paste the cultivar name. Next, enter the flowering date. There was a basal nitrogen application. Indicate the nutrient and the amount applied. Enter the soil type and the harvest method. Click Save to save the information entered. Click on Add New Experiment. Name the experiment. Select the measurement type and the unit. The data set refers to a sow and maize crop, so the sow and species option is selected. Enter the number of measurements, which represents the number of rows of data to be entered. It can be multiple, but for this example, let's add only one measurement. Because it is a crop, grain yield values can be inserted. Select yes to insert grain yield data. Nutrients and irrigation treatments can be entered in the next step. There were no treatments here in this example, so leave the boxes unchecked. Click Save. Now the grid has been created for the user to enter the measurement dates, the dry matter yield and the grain yield. Type or simply copy and paste values on the grid. You can use the keyboard shortcuts Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V to copy and paste. Click Save to save the data. To check the entry as a CSV output, go back to the dashboard. Click on the download icon. Open the CSV file to review the data entered. Go back to the dashboard to continue in the data entry mode or you can save the output CSV file on your computer.